Depending on the design and budget of your show, doing stained glass on muslin might be a better option than on plexi or plastic. First, prep your muslin by stapling it to a frame and starching it. I used liquid laundry starch, which isn't necessarily ideal, but it works when you're in a pinch, like me. And again, if you're in a pinch, you can draw charcoal over the holes and rub it in instead of using a pounce bag. Then draw out your design in Sharpie. Because of the bracing bar in the middle of my frame, I decided to do a side-by-side -side comparison of two different techniques. For the first side, I mixed Roscoe Super Sat colors with just water. It is better to use Super Sats because they are highly pigmented and have fewer fillers, so they stay more vibrant when you really thin them. But you do need to be careful that you are properly incorporating the paint into the water. First, mix your color with no water and then make a paste by slowly adding a little water before you add the full amount. If you don't do this, you will have chunks of paint in your mixture. You will also want to do some swatches on scrap muslin to make sure that your mixture is not too thick and prevents light from coming through the muslin. Then just paint your colors. Make sure to let it dry between colors so that they do not bleed into each other. At this point, this is what it looks like when it is backlit. To help it look more vibrant, you can paint another layer on the back. I wasn't patient and didn't let it dry, so some of my colors bled, but I didn't mind and just cleaned it up a bit with a clean brush and some more paint. Here you can see that the back painted areas are more vibrant. Next you add the opaque lead with black paint. You can use a straight edge to help you, or if you're like me and get tired of it, you can just freehand it for a more rustic look. The trick is to have your paint at the right consistency. Thin it enough that it flows nicely, but not so much that it becomes transparent. And voila! This is how it looks when backlit. Part 2 will cover the second panel, where I used blues, acrylic mediums, and faux lead.